coming to fundamentals of partnership now students we have done various types of business and their final accounts in 11th standard which included financial statements of sole proprietorship non profit organizations also so now coming to partnership accounts or accounts of partnership firms this chapter deals with the fundamental parts which are discussed or which are taken care of while preparing the accounts for a partnership firm so first of all let us understand what is a partnership in a layman language whenever two or more than two persons combine together to carry on a business it is called a partnership business obviously the underlying factor is that they contribute their capitals or they contribute to the capital jointly and they agree to share profits and losses in the agreed ratio so coming to the statute part or the legal part of it a partnership act is the basic underlying statute that governs the partnership business in india so we can say that in india partnership businesses are governed by indian partnership act Nineteen thirty-two. It was passed during the British rule in India and was subsequently adopted by Indian Legislative Assembly, that is the Parliament, once the country was independent. So till date, the same statute is applicable, obviously with certain amendments that have taken place over number of years. So now coming to the legal definition, as per Section Four of Indian Partnership Act, nineteen thirty-two. a partnership is defined as a relation between the persons who have agreed to share the profits of a business carried on by all or any of them acting for all so now students it says that it is a relation between two or more than two persons who have agreed to share profits remember it is not merely profits here the profits also imply they have agreed to share losses in case the business has incurred loss during a particular accounting period so they would agree to share profits as well as losses carried on by any of them or all of them acting for all of them that means this business is carried on either by any one of them or all of them on behalf of all of them so now this definition brings us to certain features of partnership let us understand something about features of partnership based on this definition 